I know, let's do up some potato beef cakes. So the first thing you want to do is get the potatoes into some boiling water. And this is about, oh, two good sized potatoes here. While our potatoes are boiling up, some oil into a pan over medium high heat. In with half a chopped small onion. Ah, listen to that sizzle. Four cloves of garlic. Gotta have me garlic. And we'll just saute these for a few minutes until that wonderful aroma of garlic fills the air and the onions are a little bit translucent. Next, in with three quarters of a pound of medium ground beef, and I'll just chop this up a little bit here. And we're gonna fry this up for a few minutes until that beef becomes a wonderful brown. Now for our ground beef seasoning, I've got a teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. So we'll just go ahead and add this in. And you can add whatever seasoning you like. Give this a stir one more time. And believe me guys, there's not much here, but it smells so good and already. Just that onion and garlic that we've, uh, that we've sauteed up and the seasoning. Oh, it's gonna be so so yummy. Now we are going in with 400 milliliters or 14 ounces of tomato sauce. And you could probably use spaghetti sauce too or whatever you have on hand if you like. Just give this a mix up. And we're just gonna go ahead and simmer this for a few minutes until it's heated through. Now our sauce is yum, or our filling I should say, is yum yummily done. I'm just gonna turn off the heat. Now our potatoes are boiled up and drained. They're going into a bowl. Followed by a couple of tablespoons of unsalted butter. Seasoned with some salt. Ground black pepper. And something I always, always add to my mashed potatoes is a bit of garlic powder. Sounds weird, but believe me, it makes the world a difference. Then last but not least, the greens of your choice. In this case, I'm using some parsley. And we'll just go ahead and mash this up. Now, normally I put milk in my mash, but I want these a little, this texture a little bit different. So I'm gonna do without the milk today. Next step, I'm gonna take my spoon and just kind of smooth this out. I like my mashed tater spooned out. That was a line from a movie, well, not quite. And we'll divide this into four even sections. As even as we can get here anyway. And we'll just spoon up one section here into the palm of my hand. And we'll just kind of form this into a ball. You might want to leave these mashed for a few minutes so it's cool enough to work with. Something like that. Now into a baking dish. And we'll push this down and kind of form it into a circle. Uh, it's starting to look pretty already. And the most important part is I'm going to form a good well in the center of this. Take your time and make this really nice and neat. Now we got our potato wells made. I'm gonna drop some mozzarella into the center of each. Spoon in some of that delicioso filling. Maybe a couple of tablespoons or so. And just a little tip here, guys. You're gonna have lots of filling left over because I'm only making up four of these, but uh, you know, you could make up four more cakes or you could have some yummy spaghetti. But this is gonna be so good. Then some more of that yummy mozzarella over the top. Now these are going in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit, 195 Celsius, just for a few minutes until that cheese melts and everything sets. After about 12 minutes in the oven, guys, they are done and Just look at this, absolutely incredible. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one of these up. Oh, oh. And on to a plate we go, my friends. And of course, we have to garnish this up with some parsley. Oh, oh. 
And there you have it, guys, our potato beefcakes. You are going to love this. Okay, let's cut in here, guys, and see what we have. Oh my goodness, just look at this. Absolutely spectacular. Wow. That ooey gooey goodness of the cheese, that filling. Oh, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. You're going to love this. Oh, I can't get over it. All right, let's have a taste. Mm. You know, I'm always shocked that things so simple can be so good. That filling is fantastic. The mash is great. I just love that ooey goodness of the cheese on top. Mm. So good. you got to make these guys. Everybody will love them. Of course, I'm going to have more. Mm. So good.